you are watching Melody Lane with me you're gonna have a great crafting time hi everyone it's Melody Lane and I have organized my Cricut design space files and I shared with a few people who they've been asking for folders and ways to organize your files. Design Space does not yet have a way to do that in the Design Space software, but you can do that outside of Design Space and I'm going to show you how. But first, here's how I did mine. I share my files with everyone who supports me on Patreon. So I have these files and I'll show you how to do it also, but I want to show you the categories I have. I have New Year's, Valentine, St. Patrick's Day, Easter, Mother's Day, Graduation, Father's Day, Independence Day, Halloween. I think I have some Halloween ones I haven't put there yet. And Thanksgiving and Christmas. Now this is only one part of my categories. I have these in order of the holidays or events. Like graduation is usually after Mother's Day in June. Here's the ones I have. And then after Christmas, I have birthday and thank you and wedding. And then I have spring, summer, fall, and winter. Now, some of these files are in with the other files also. So some of them are duplicated, but sometimes I just looking for a spring card and it doesn't matter if it's a birthday or thank you. I just want to do something for spring or if it is a birthday card, I can always change it to a thank you card. Really easy. I added these so if there's a specific file for a season, I can have it here. Like this one is a Hello Spring card. I could make that into a birthday card or any kind of card. But the theme of it is spring because it has flowers and grass and butterflies. So if I have a spring birthday coming up, I might look here to have a pretty spring card and change it to a birthday card. Then I have teacher and baby and then some cards that are for all occasions. These could be for anything and then my box cards and my shutter cards and my step cards and spinner cards, easel cards, specialty cut fold cards, screen cards, word albums, pop-up cards, gift cards, 3D projects, flip cards, shaker cards, bendy cards, and then miscellaneous stencils. Then I have love. These are the words L-O-V-E, but the O is replaced with the sport, with a basketball or soccer ball or baseball. And then scrapbook layouts and planner files and banners. To organize all these, it took me over six hours. So I want you to know this is time consuming. It's easy, but time consuming. So this is just how I did it. You can do it any way you want. And you can do it in Evernote. Evernote is software you can use with all your devices. You can get the basic plan for free. You can make notes and lots of other things. You don't have to use Evernote. Any software you want where you can paste a link. So here's the file I started. I'm not paying for this. This is just free. So I went ahead and put in some of the categories to start with. And I put an SVG here so I can list my design space files that have SVGs in them. Now how do I add the files? Let's go to Cricut Design Space. I'm signed in. So I'm going to click under files. I'm going to click on my projects. Do I want to save this? No, there's nothing there. Here are some of my projects. And let's do this. This is my Lori Whitlock teapot. And soon it's going to be hard to find because there's going to be so many things up here. In order to get the link for this, you have to click on it and open it up in Cricut Design Space. So here it's opened up. All you have to do is highlight this, copy it, right click your mouse button. You can click copy here and then go into your Evernote. So I want this under SVGs. So I'm going to paste it. That's not how I want it to look. I want to pull it over a little underneath the SVG. So I'm going to click over here on bulleted list. You can change the font. You can change the size. You can change the color, make it bold, italic, underlined, and so much more. So now this still isn't what I want. I want to add LW. I know that'll be for Lori Whitlock teapot. So now I know what it is, but it's not clickable. So I'm going to highlight this again, and then I'm going to go up here and insert the link. Click here and paste the link and click apply. There. Now it'll open it up. Let's click it to make sure it works. Yep, it just opened up a new tab of Cricut Design Space with the file I wanted just by clicking on it. 
It's much easier to find this way, and they're all organized. Like I said, you can organize it any way you like. Thanks for watching, everyone. And if you found this video informative, please click like and share it with your friends. If you would like access to my list of files that I share on Patreon, I'll put a link to that in the description below. But you have to be a Patreon supporter of $1 or more to get access to that list. Thank you so much for watching, and here's a shout out to a few of the people who already support me on Patreon. Patreon. Wanda, Carmen, Diane, Chris, Lasagna, Mouse Baby, Tori, Linda, Kimberly, Kathy, Barbie, Susan, Bonnie, Ellen, Rachel, Deb, Kathy, Ellen, Lena. You are watching Melody Lane. With me you're gonna have a great crafting time.